Hello, today I'm here with my third Freelux One palette, I, it must be. And today we're going to explore the Urban Decay Ultimate Naked Basics. Did I say it right? No. Today we're going to explore the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. Such a hard word. This is a palette that looks like this. It has 12 shades and this is ultimate naked naked ultimate okay naked ultimate basics and I'm going to do free looks and I will leave the timestamps down in the description if you don't want to see all the looks or if you only want to see the little review part of this video so I really hope you will like these free looks and we just hop into the looks because I have the feeling that I'm going to do a long video again. Time for the first look with my Naked Basics from Urban Decay. No, I'm sorry. Ultimate Basics from Urban Decay. Naked Ultimate Basics from Urban Decay. This palette looks like this. Uh, you have already seen it. I am struggle a bit how I'm going to do three fun looks with this one. So now for the first look I'm going to do something... I don't know if you can hear it. It's, I think it's storm outside. Like the whole house is moving. Um. Okay. So I am doing going to do something purple, and I want to do it pretty dark. So I'm going to start with this lethal, and I also going to use instinct, and maybe black yak so i will start with lethal and put it in my outer crease and i have already primed my eyes and i haven't used this palette i think i have used it twice maybe and i have had it for such a long time i remember the first time i tried urban decay i was so impressed by their eyeshadows but now when i have tried so much more eyeshadows. I'm not that impressed anymore. But for like five years ago, I was like blown away by their eyeshadows. Okay, so something like that. And then I'm going to take Instinct, this one. It's so hard to show you, but I, I can't do it like this because the mirror is in the way. Maybe I can do it like this. So I'm going to take this one instinct and put it on my inner crease there is nothing wrong with these shadows they are blendable and everything but it's not like the best shadows in the whole wild world if I I'm going to be honest it was when I just started with makeup now it's like not that impressed anymore okay, so something like that and for my lid I thought I was going to take like do the same but not I'm not now I'm not sure maybe I have to swatch these okay I think I will take this one that's tempted and it's <sighs> the pants are so freaking small on this one it's this one so I'm going to use these three colors and I will take this on a fluffy brush and put it on my whole lid and I hope that this will work out good okay so something like this I think it looks like I'm dead <laughs> Okay, so this is the lids, and I don't really know. This lethal, it's very, very patchy. 
So I am going to, I have a little bit of fallout I think, so I'm going to take away the fallout and I'm going to fix my base and then we are going to do something to my under eyes. I don't know if I want this to be a whole crunchy look. Maybe I do. We will see. Okay, so I will fix my face and then I will come back and we fix the rest of the eyes. And we will see how this look turns out in the end. Right now I do not now know how I am going to fix this but I will be back soon with a full face. So the face is on and I'm going to do something underneath my eyes and I will take the tempted this one that I have on my eyelids I will take that underneath my eyes and I hope Maybe this was a little too light, so I'll take the instinct. I like hate the sound when you're doing lower lash, and your bottom lashes are <coughs> against the brush. So something like that, and I, it feels like I want something fun for this look. So I am going to take. Purple. I have such a hard time with colors right now, and I don't know why. I'm going to take a purple pen from Linda Halberg, and it's the Daring Mood, and I will take this on my waterline, and then I will put on some mascara, of course, because we can't look like this. And for lips, it feels like I want something. Maybe not dark, but cold something. The brain office is working great. So this is the finished look and I look all washed out. I think it's because of the lipstick. I have stronger from Nabla and I look pale as fuck. If I do like this, does it look better? I don't know, I look pale as fudge. Um, this is stronger, this is almost the same as the eyeshadow. So this is my first look with ultimate... This is such a hard belt to hold up. So this is look number one with Naked Ultimate Basics from Urban Decay. So it's time for look number two with Naked Ultimate Basics from Urban Decay and I have primed my eyes. And now we're going to do something and this is only my second look but I feel so uninspired when I'm looking at this palette. It's like I don't know what I want to do with you at all. I don't know why you are in my life and I don't know why. <laughs> I'm going to try to do something and I think I know what I want to do. I am going to start with this one. It's called Fate. I will take this on my in my crease. So put this in my whole crease. And I was like I was going to film this today. <laughs> I have set everything up and then when I start the camera batteries out. It has happened to me so many times so I am thinking about buying another battery because my planning is not that good. Okay so now we have a little bit of fate. Gotta have fate in this look. And I want, I think I want to do something My first look was very dark, I want to do something lighter, so I'm going to take this extra bitter and now you may be like, that's not so light. But you will see. You will see where I'm going with this. So I put this 
on my outer corner and smudge it a little bit in also smudging it up in my crease this is a really nice color but sometimes with this palette I don't know it feels like they just have thrown in a lot of colors and doesn't thought about the story behind it or what you should say but as you see they are really easy to blend with these colors I think I will take this extra bitter and put it on my, my inner crease as well or maybe not I will do it. I will do it. So I take a little bit pointier blending brush and take this extra bitter and I don't want it too much. And just to put it all the way in. Okay, so now I'm going to do something I don't know why I am doing. But I want to take this blow and the other colors look completely matte but this blow one I have swatched it and it doesn't have any shimmers but it's not completely matte so I will cut my crease and I will put that one on my cut crease you sometimes get like an idea of a look that you want to do and then you do it and it doesn't look at what you wanted I think this look is going to be like that. Okay, so I have cut my crease. And then I will take the blow one. And I think this is going to look like shit. I think it's pretty okay. Even though it's not what I have wanted. I have wanted a shimmer shadow but this it does not have one so both eyes are looking the same so I will take the fallout off and then I think we'll do the exact same thing underneath my eyes so I will come back with a clean face and a foundation face and we will finish this second look with ultimate basics from Urban Decay okay so I am almost done I will take for my lower lash line I think I will take extra bitter and also blow and do like almost the same as on my lids but I think I will take extra bitter the whole way and then just have blow in here but I don't really know so we start with extra bitter so I will put on some mascara and also I think I want something on my waterline but I don't know what if I maybe should take something that's a little bit more fitting to this lower lash so I will fix that and then I will come back okay so this is the finished look the second look with my Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics and I have no lipstick on because my lips are so dry and I don't like sticky lipsticks so <laughs> I have no lipstick on so this is the second look with this naked basic and for this look I used three colors and I don't really like this but yeah I'm going to talk more about um, what I think of the palette in the end of this video so this is look number two with Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. It's such a hard long word. So it's time for the third look with Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. It's so hard for me. <laughs> I don't know why. So I feel so uninspired when I look at this palette. And um, this has been hard for me to do these videos. To do this video these three looks I don't know if it's me that is the problem 
maybe it is. So I have thinking about what I have done. Used it. I don't feel drawn to any of these colors. Like yes, I want to do that. So what are we going to do today? I don't know. I think I'm going to do something pretty neutral um, and maybe deepen the outer corner down a little bit maybe take a red lipstick or anything because I don't know when I see this I don't know what I want to do and that's the big problem for me with this palette so I think I it has been <laughs> like a month uh, of time when I have done this free looks one palette and that's not good because I almost like forget which colors I have used but yes I think I will take I want to do something a little bit warmer I think I think I will take these two and then the black one so I will start with fate this one and put that on my in my crease And I feel like after this free looks one palette with this one, I want to declare this palette. I don't think I want it anymore because it doesn't feel like a good thing when you feel uninspired to do a free looks one palette. And with my videos, this free looks one palette, because I'm using the palettes that I really wanted but never use. It feels like after these three looks, if I don't like the palette, it maybe is not for me. The colors are good. Um, I can't complain about them. But it's like... No fun. No fun at all. So this is Fate. I will take it on my other eye as well. Do you have this palette and what do you think about it? Do you like it? Do you don't like it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? So something like this and now I will take this color. My nails are so ugly right now. I will take Lockout and I will put this on my whole lid. But with my nails I have been my mother's place to celebrate new year and we came home yesterday and today I went back to work so yeah and that's why it has been it didn't come it's only been I think it only will be free videos this week and that's because I haven't been home Okay, so this color, it's a nice color, but it's nothing. I don't feel like, oh, I want to play with my ultimate basic from Urban Decay. I want to come home and play with it. And I start to get wrinkly eyelids and I like, stop it. I'm not turning 30 before, like in two months. Okay, so I don't know if I want to deepen this down or not. Sometimes I wish this was live so I could ask you what you think. And you can could say it to me so I don't destroy my makeup. I'll fix my base and then I'll come back. we we'll fix the under eyes, maybe darken it down a little bit, I don't know. So yeah, I will soon be back. So the face is on and now we're going to do the under eyes and I will take Lockout, it's the one I have on my lids and I will take it on my lower lash line. And I will also put on a mascara and some lips and I think I'll take this red, super red lip from Nobla but I'm not sure so I will take mascara first but maybe I want something in my waterline. 
I think I will take purple. If I can find it. Or, no, I will take a green one. And this is, of course, from Nidalberg. It's the calm mood. The green one. And as you should know by now, I love her crayons. So I will take this on my waterline and mascara and a red lipstick. I think I will take this one. I'm not completely sure, but I think. So I will fix this and then I will come back. So this is the finished look and I used the hanging rock from Nabla today as well. I have to stop using this all the time. So is this maybe not so good, this light? Or is it maybe that one? Have I been shady all, all the time? Um, I excuse my application with the lipstick. I have so right all oh, it's right now so this is the third look and last look with the naked ultimate basics and what do i think about this palette when i bought this one i was more into the neut neutral colors shades i didn't like colorful i didn't like something out of the ordinary if you could say so and for that this one is perfect this has a lot of good neutral shadows and matte shadows and that was what I liked the most when I bought this one and I wanted this one because I wanted to declutter my naked 2 and naked 3 and have this instead and I like never used it and now I have done three looks and every time that I have pulled out this palette I have been looking for it like five minutes straight and I had got no ideas. This has been such a hard video for me because I can't think of any fun to do with this palette. I hope that the looks that I have created was not too similar. I think I have a hard time with this not to do them too similar. But now I have done three looks. I think I'm going to declutter this palette. It is a really good palette. The shadows are easy to work with. They are easy to blend. They are easy to work together. And the hold of the shadows is great. But I don't want a palette that I look at and don't feel inspired by. But if you love these types of colors, these colors, go for it because it is a good palette. And yeah. It is a good palette but it's nothing for me. And now I have realized it. When I have done free looks with it, I have realized this is not for me. It is a good palette but it's not for me. So this was the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basic. Um, good palette if you're in this, if you want this like an everyday palette, maybe to go to work or something like that. Because you can can do dark looks and you can also do lighter looks if you want that. So it's a good neutral palette. The shadows are good. It's nothing wrong with it, but it doesn't it doesn't intrigue me to do something with it and that it's not a good palette to have in your collection, I think. And even if I should would keep it to have it like yeah, if I need like this color in another makeup, I think I have something like that that I love more. Um so <laughs> But I, I think this is the reason to do this free looks one palette. To know if you like the palette you have or not. I think that's good. That I have noticed it. So now I know. It is a good palette but I don't think it's for me. So yeah. That is what I have come to. <laughs> so I really hope you liked this video. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like any of the free looks I have put out. But these are the free looks and this is that. This is that. That is that. I don't know how to say it in English. So I really hope you liked this video. And 
it will come in more free looks one palettes because I think this is really fun. And I will try to get through the palettes in my video. I can leave it up here. Now I have done two of the palettes, I think, and it will come more free looks one palettes. It just takes such a long time to do them. So I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!